Ahoy, this is David Eugene Perry, and well, I'm in one of my favorite places, the artist studio of Elaine Bagley Arnoux. Elaine, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you. Now, I'm only going to tell Elaine's age because it's a matter of public record, and I think I've never <laughs> met someone who at 96 had more energy than I do, or than 30 years younger. But Elaine, of course, is well known for her portraits of San Francisco's mayor, including the yet-to-be-unveiled, but soon, official portrait of San Francisco Mayor London N. Breed, two books of San Francisco personalities, numerous sculptures, including one that came out last year inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement and Colin Kaepernick called Kneeling Man that is now being rendered in bronze. But what we're here today to talk about is what you see over our shoulder. What I say is almost like Picasso's Guernica, a remembrance of January 6th. Elaine, tell us about this incredible piece and it's now just a few weeks away from being complete. It looks almost complete now. The emotion is incredible. Well, the emotion came first. And it, it was an odd set of circumstances because I simply saw the uh, Little Red Riding Hood at the very beginning. And, and, that's, and, that's, and that's her here. Yes, and that's peculiar. She, she's not red yet, but she will be her, her coat. Um, it was symbolic to me of hiding uh, beneath a cloak. Um, not truly hiding, but almost so that we get it and we don't get it. And so, to you, who is Red Riding Hood representing in this painting? Well, all the folks who... <laughs> were not willing to come forth and say, tell what this event was all about. So in, in a sense, this is a very political piece. This, this represents the MAGA people in the Republican Party. Absolutely. So it is very much red riding people in a hood. It, Absolutely. It, so is, is part of the, the metaphor of the hood also like the Klan hoods of the Ku Klux Klan? It can be. It can be. It's, it's not vicious, but it's, it's simply what you said. It's hiding. Mm -hmm. And nobody wants to come out and say, oh, I, I did this. They won't do that. So this is my metaphor. And the more I thought about it and the more it became involved in my psyche, I couldn't stop. So after one thing after the other, after the other, the red coats, <laughs> I, I just fell in love with them as a symbol. Now you've been working on this for, my goodness, pretty much nonstop for the last few months because I remember, yes. I remember when this was just a dash of uh, sketches yes. and you said, oh, I think it needs to be bigger, and <laughs> it, it, it really is incredible. And this, of course, in the middle is the person that uh, became known as the, the horned guy, obviously. Yes, who demanded that he have organic food in the jail, his jail cell. So it's an amalgam mm -hmm. of strange yet unwonderful people. And then here, of course, the noose that was actually part of the day that people brought to try to hang Vice President Pence. Uh, yes, and you can see that it's on the foot of a little red riding hood, a symbolic of, well, we won't do very much about this, and yet they tried to hang him. Right, now then over my shoulder, uh, as my husband refers to, he who shall not be named, probably one of the most famous, I guess we should say infamous profiles in American I history. Think so. so what is the image of Donald Trump doing and where is he at? He is out the window symbolically, not realistically, but symbolically, where everybody broke the glass and climbed in after him. They want, wanted him to be their mentor, to be their hero. And he almost made it, but he didn't quite make it. So this isn't necessarily Donald Trump in the White House watching. This is him calling to people to exactly, come in. Exactly. So, and the people are reaching for him. Please come. So, you know, you've never been known as a wallflower in life or in art. <laughs> so being political is not strange to you. You've done a lot of political works before. Is this your most 
political work? It certainly is. In fact, it's the period um, at, at the end of my political era. There's only one more that I want to do, which is not really political, but it's the musical instrument that was played in, what's the name of Cut that. Cut no, that. no, no, that's all right. We're, 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 we're doing to live. What are, what are you thinking about? I was thinking about the Ukraine. Ah, of course, of course. Well, we've talked about this because one of your yes. associates, Christina, is Russian. Yes. And our dear mutual friend, Spencer Christian, known yes. to millions of viewers from Good Morning America, he's been talking to you and me about yes. your work speaking to Russians who still somehow believe that this war is uh, justified by Putin. Well, it's an absolutely thrilling thing that I'm involved in, and I have to be so delicate. I can't push even my own thinking, because I want the women to understand that we've all made terrible mistakes. And if we can think that way, we can open up our eyes and ears a little bit more and get the whole thing in focus, I doubt that they can, though. So, January 6th, Ukraine, at 96, Elaine Bashley Arno, <laughs> you're still painting, you're still going strong. <laughs> After this launches, which will be in a few weeks, uh, what's next for you? Well, it's the, going to be the, the cello in the, in the Ukraine. Ah, uh, inspired by the man that was playing the cello yeah, in the yeah, middle of the street. Yeah, in the middle of the street. And that, that has me weeping, just weeping. It's empty, you know? It's not like this, which is so full of good and bad and whatever you can think of. Uh, it's quietly gentle and empty, that chill. But this is exciting to me because all of my feelings, and I do mean feelings, not my intellect, has been guiding me through this. Mm -hmm. At night, before I go to sleep, I think about each stroke. Now, that stroke isn't right. I've got to put another one in there. So I'm very, very pleased that you are engaged in that too, David. Oh, we love it very much. Well, we've been speaking here with Lane Bashley Arnu. And the piece, what I believe now is called Remembrance of January 6th, will be complete as soon in the next few weeks, just in time maybe for the January 6th committee to that's, render its that's verdict. That's what I'm hoping. Would you, would you like for Nancy Pelosi to come and see this piece, yes. or other members of the yes. committee? Yes, yes. And I know Nancy, so I would love that. Speaker Pelosi, I have a video for you to see. <laughs> so reporting from San Francisco, the studios of Elaine Bashley Arnoux here in San Francisco, this is David Eugene Perry. Oh boy.